Hello, hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you a very quick tutorial on how to set up an SNES emulator with Fraps. Because this actually took me a while to figure out, I used to use an emulator called SNES 9X, but that one is not compatible with Fraps. So I changed to an emulator called the ZSNES. This here is what it looks like. So there are a couple of things that you're going to have to do. The first thing you go into config and to video. So here we have all the options. You can choose whatever one you want, but it does have to be in full screen. So you see here F is for full screen, W is for window. Do not choose one that says W. You got to choose one that says X. I'm pretty sure I'm using the 800 by 800 or 800 by 600. I use R for retain ratio and F for full screen. So once you do that, you go into filters and you have to click right here on this triple buffering. And that is what allows you to use fraps. Now, another thing that I personally like to do while I use emulators is I uh, use an Xbox controller. So I have my Microsoft corded Xbox controller. So what you do to set that one up is you go into input. These are all those settings. So you go into set keys right here. Make sure that you have plugged your controller in before you start up ZSNES. So you have to have that plugged in before you start that up. You go into set keys and then ask you, you can either use the joystick or the, uh, the D-pad. I like using the joystick. So you go up, down, left, right, start, select. And now remember that the A button on the controller is actually where the B button is. So the old SS SNES controllers, the A button is where your B red button is. So you press B and then A, X is uh, once again opposite. So your X is where the Y is. Press that, uh, left trigger, right trigger. And then you're set up to go. So thank you for watching this, guys. And have yourself an awesome day.